I wanted to know who gives the best DIY advice to its customers. Is it a superstore or is it the small independent? So I took two big players in this uh, sector, B&Q and Wix, and I compared them to a smaller local DIY store. It's amazing what happened. Take a look. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I wonder if you could, somebody could give me a bit of advice about cutting a laminate wake top I've purchased from you. Oh, right. Uh, oh, I'm not sure what, uh, what department that is. Uh, uh, just one moment, please. Thanks. I'm just putting through. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a few different messages coming through on my headset uh, for your question. So apparently you need to cut it upside down, first of all. Right. And, and you need a, uh, a, a jig. I think that's all we can advise, really. Um, right. Okay. All right, then. Do okay, then. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks. Accessory we're speaking, how can I help? Hello, I wonder if somebody could give me a little bit of advice about cutting a laminate weight top, please. Okay, I can try. Yeah, I've just wondered what's the best. I'm finding it spelching and I just wonder is there a, a you know a proper way to cut it? Uh, so what are you using a jigsaw or yeah. Yeah, so we do um laminate blades, so basically they're reversed. So they stop the splitting. Oh right, they cut cut downwards with this. Okay. Cut down, yeah. I yeah, see. That's right. right. Do um, do I need to put any tape or anything on the weight top when I'm cutting it? The claim that putting like masking tape on helps. Does um, it? Yeah. Yeah, gives you a straighter edge and like again stops the splitting on the edges. Right. Okay, um, I'll give that a try. The laminate, the laminate um, blade should do that as well. Right. Thanks very much for your help. All right. No problem. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, I wonder if you could give me a bit of advice. I'm cutting a laminate weight top and I'm finding it spelching. I just wonder if there's this, uh, you know, a certain way to do it. What sort of, what type of saw are you using? A jigsaw. So, is obviously you've got to cut. So the blade, if it's a down cutting blade, then you can cut the face. If it's an up cutting blade, then you need to cut the reverse side because the, 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 with a jigsaw, the blade will have a, uh, come up or out, yeah. Uh, point up or down, and you need to, the laminate to be pushing as it's cutting, pushing into the chipboard. Oh, I see. So, right. Uh, one one way will work a lot better than the other way. As well to help minimise it, you can put masking tape on where you're cutting. Oh, right. Uh, the blade needs to be cutting into the chipboard. So, you oh, might, I see. If you've got an off cut or something. Try cutting it upside down. Yeah. To see if that actually gives you a better finish on the laminate side. Okay. Like I say, you get up cutting and down cutting blades, and I don't know. Oh, right. One will work a lot better than the other. Do you, depending on do you stop though? It. Sorry. Um, we only have one way. I don't know which way it is. But oh, we I see. only have one of them. Yeah. Okay, then. That's lovely. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. Cheers. All right. Great. Thank you. Oh, well, that was interesting, wasn't it? The Independent came out in front, closely followed by Wix, but B&Q. And I'm not blaming staff, it's not the staff's fault. I'm sure the lady who answered the phone at B&Q is a lovely lady, uh, but B&Q, you do need to train your staff better, and um, it's not good enough, really. But, of course, you don't need any of those for advice, because you've got mixed woodwork wonders. So I'll give you all the advice you need. So just ask Mixed Woodweight Wonders.